Hey guys. I'm um, just putting in this ceiling in between the panes. I figured I'd share a little video so you can see how that goes. Um, in case somebody's interested in doing some of this, I guess um, we'll just share it, show you how we do it. So what we're doing is making stacks and we're using our setting blocks in between the panes. And as we do an edge, we shift it out so it's not gonna hit the pane below. The pane below is done, so we start at the bottom and then we just build up in the stack. So, um, it's not too bad. It's like kind of like frosting a cake. You just fill in the frosting and uh, we use just a little putty knife and uh, we cut a good size um, cut for the tube because it's quite a bit of filling there. That's 5 eighths by 3 sixteenths getting filled. And then um, I guess if you, to share, you're gonna uh, one thing. I just don't stop at the corners. I roll around the corner so it so it doesn't drag it out. And that's pretty much it. We have those other few left to do those long ones, but we're doing all these little pieces now, and um, a little bit more left to go. And the tubes go pretty far. So these bigger panes, it would took like a tube and a half. So the tubes go far. So I think we ordered a case of this, uh, it comes 12 in a case. And it is a special, uh, it says silicone foam and metal spacer. So what it, what it is, is kind of like a thick, there's a thickness to it so it doesn't sag. It kind of, um, it's thick like frosting. So anyways, I'll do a little bit and show you. This way you get an idea of um, one of the steps we had to do to get to our uh, finished glazing, insulated glazing, so. And I got you up on my helmet cam, so. All right, so I usually just start like right here and um, I'll fill a little bit extra in there. But um, I usually just stay kind of in the middle of the paint, the two panes, and then I just kind of fill until um, I see I see it hit the two panes without going too far because it's nice if you just get the right amount in there. That way you're not playing with it so much, dragging it out or putting extra in. So it's one of those things where. I guess uh, I had to get used to it a little bit over the course of these few panes, but. I'm just filling in there. And, I, and I'll do a whole side at a time. See, I put a little too much there, but I mean, it, it's like caulking, you know, you gotta get the, get a knack for it. Of course, I don't, let's see. up whatever I had in the tube so I'll just spread out what I have I had a little extra from the other piece I'll just put it in there because I'm not it stays soft for quite a while enough to uh, get it in there work it in there so I'm just fill it in there you know, like I said usually I spin around the corner but I, I don't really have enough there to do that but Maybe now I do. And then when I start the other side, I already have a start. I don't have to come around the corner again. See, just drag it like that. And then I usually just take off whatever I put extra. And I, and I just put it on the other side. It's not a big deal. Basically, you just want it to, you want it to seal in here good, so. You want it to seal against your spacer and then the two panes. And a little bit comes out on the edge of the glass too. See now, there's a little void there. A little bit too, not enough, but I'll just go back over it. 
Not, not enough there. Uh, but that's why I got plenty here. And uh, I could just fill it in like that. Um, so that's how much extra I had in there, so then I usually just uh, skim a little bit on the bottom if there's any that's spilled over, and um, come along the top and skim it a little bit. Anyways, I think, I think once this sets up, we'll probably just come and, and hit that little excess on the face with the... Um, a straight razor and just, you know, take out any extra that's there. Okay, now just stay one path. One path the whole way to get a clean sweep and then look, I rotate around the side and then that's the sides. Nah, I can get a little messy, but that's all right. Important thing is that it seals. So, That's it. There's one side. Oh, shit. Okay, now I'll come on this easier side because I have so much here. And I'll show you. I just, I just use up whatever I had off that side. I'll stick it in here now. Just smear it in there. We're not going to be moving this glass around until it's set completely. And you can see it's filling in right along that edge. That's what gives the glass its seal is this stuff. You know, that sticky adhesive that the spacer came and set it with, that's not sealing anything, honestly. It's, um, it's this material right here that's doing all the sealing. Okay. Rip off the excess. Now just continue with the caulk. the end of the tube. All right, that's right. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys. Jesus. All right, so here's a new tube. I use the same tip. I don't keep making new tips because it's already made. Then you just cut this, cut this off right here. Okay. Take this one. didn't fill in and go back. It's like frosting a cake. We're frosting cake here. Okay? Alright guys, you get the idea. This is the caulking part of this thing. Alright, the next video we'll share is going to be the um, argon. 
I'll show you how we're going to get that argon in between the panes and get all the air that's in there out and the argon in. All right, guys, that's it. Till the next one.